Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful morning or day, whatever time it may be for you all. I do apologize for not uploading yesterday. I was just a little bit busy, but um, maybe I'll upload twice today. I'm not too sure, but I hope you guys do enjoy today's content. I'll be showing you guys my Call of Duty Vanguard settings here on the channel. And of course, if you guys don't know who I am, I'll show you guys my KD and, you know, uh, my medals and stuff like that. Just to kind of validate... Um, you know my settings for you guys so here are my stats for vanguard i'm currently prestige 5 level 56 and my kill death ratio is a 1.60 flat uh one day and 14 hours played i got a 1.26 win loss ratio uh sorry if you guys can't see that and uh, my score per minute is 479 and my highest gun streak is 30 uh, which is you know a tactical nuke because a nuke or a v2 rocket is 25 kills um, my medals so far I got 20 kills without dying that's all gun streaks uh, but unfortunately I choked like 11 uh, v2 rockets because I got 10 uh, 25 enemies killed without dying which is a v2 rocket all right so we're gonna start with the controller and FYI guys I am still currently playing on console I am actually playing on the ps4 still believe it or not I couldn't uh, uh, get my hands on a PS5 yet. I'm debating if I should go with an upgraded PC uh, For future Call of Duty content or a PS5. I am using controller. My sensitivity is 6.6 for vertical and horizontal um, I'm just gonna skip through things that I feel like that are not really necessary to explain too much So I'm just gonna skip through this. Uh, I won't even say it. So I'm just gonna skip uh, My sensitivity multiplier is a 1 I'm just keeping majority of these things on default because like there's just too many unnecessary settings that you actually need to be changing in multiplayer. But in play I'll present, I play on tactical flipped. Uh, basically R1 and L1 triggers are my aim and shooting buttons. I flip them and I, I play on the tactical button layout. I do have pedals on my back of my default control FYI guys. So basically when I'm slide canceling or when I'm jumping, I use that or I can put anything basically on those triggers. Um, my aim response curve is dynamic. Uh, I think this is like basically the new trend to be using for multiplayer. A lot of the uh, pro players for COD, uh, they are using dynamic as well. Believe it or not guys, I am using a vibration on my controller. It's weird because uh, the past few CODs I've been using vibration on off. Uh, but for some reason I like the vibration on on this game because the time to kill is really quick and sometimes I let go of the fire button and uh, they don't end up dying they end up killing me so basically when the vibration stops on my controller I know for a fact that they are completely dead I think I've seen a few uh, content creators or pro players talking about some of these dead zones but I just kept them on default honestly uh, it, it won't really change too much of your gameplay Unless if your controller is like a little messed up on the sticks. Target aim assist now for the gameplay is on. Obviously you need that on. Uh, target aim assist I left that on default. Uh, you can even change it to if you're into Cold War. Your Cold War settings go for that. But you know this is Modern Warfare Engine so we'll go default. Aim assist is on. Mount. I don't even really use mounting on this game. So I just keep that on default. Uh, keep that on. I guess this is on. Like I said I don't, I don't mount on this game. Uh, ammo switch is on blind fire is on definitely want to have this on partial so you don't automatically when you go towards equipment you don't mount and especially when you're slide cancel so you definitely have to have this on partial automatic sprint uh, honestly I just got lazy man I just keep this on automatic tactical sprint it saves my controller longevity if you put this on off you're gonna be going through multiple controllers man like you're gonna be like spamming uh, the stick and it's gonna break and you know I just can't do that right now so uh, this is a must slide behavior just tap it you know instead of just holding whatever your button is for sliding just tap it you can slide cancel a lot easier if you tap in it so this is a must as well uh, very good combination with automatic tactical sprint uh, my field of view I rock 110 um, honestly you can do whatever you want based on personal preference uh, but you know since a lot of these a lot you know majority of the public uh, match players are using PC nowadays um, thank God that they have a uh, field of views for a console so you definitely want to you know match them so I highly recommend at least a hundred a hundred and up based on your personal preference because 
like I said, man, field of view, you can see a lot more on your left side, your right side. You can see more. Obviously, you don't want to go all the way to 120 unless if you like that because, like, everything's more zoomed out. But I think 100 to 110 is, like, the perfect uh, field of view. Uh, camera movement, you want this on at least to 50% because, basically, you don't want your screen to be shaking as much. Uh, I don't even know why they add these settings, man. It's just unnecessary. Mo uh, mo world motion blur as well as weapon motion blur. You want these off. I know it's more realistic if you have it on, but you know this is multiplayer, man. You want to have all the competitive edges against your opponent so you can see them. You don't want to be getting dizzy, you know. Audio volume. So master volume at 100. I might make this lower. It's all personal preference depending by your headset. But you can obviously adjust your headset volume. Just keep it at 100, man. Because it's, it's easier to adjust your volume on your headset. Music volume. I do like the music in the game, but I keep it on zero. Just... I know it's easier for me to make content and or edit my videos for content and you can see you can hear more things a lot better when the music's not playing in the background but that's the only downfall everything else 100 uh play on vanguard i'm gonna tr i'm gonna test out classic honestly i i want to see what the difference is for the hit markers so that's it really doesn't matter uh audio mix there's no boost high or low boost for some reason so just stick to headphones obviously since we're on the headphones era Killstreak music, I guess I'll put that off. I never really use any killstreaks that acquire music like the Juggernaut. Just the volume of your mic, just the I'm gonna put this a little bit higher so I can hear people talking smack when I'm killing them, you know? Um, that's good. Background color, background blur. Yo, this is weird, man. There's just too much unnecessary stuff in this game. And I think that's basically it. Well, it's cool that they have this, though, on... Um, on uh, console now so you can actually show on the top left your latency and your pack loss so i've been showing that just to see like what i'm getting uh throughout the games of the lobby i think you should put this on honestly just to see like you know if you're losing gunfights man at least this way you can know for a fact if the connection is good on the lobby that you're in or whatsoever so just have these on and yeah basically oh yeah right here guys you need to have the mini map on square so you have more field of view of your map awareness this is very very important obviously you need the mini map rotation on so it's rotating when you're moving that's basically it man uh, i do have a gameplay for you guys we drop a b2 rocket killer gameplay you guys will enjoy it drop a like if you guys do enjoy uh today's content if you guys like the settings of the gameplay i really appreciate it subscribe if you are new and let's hop right into it Hard point. move on the objective try not to get yourself killed No shot. Hard 
kill. these kids right now, honestly. Go, baby. There we go. Let's go. Oh, I was like, what the fuck happened? You managed to impress me. Good job, all. Damn, sixty. 
five, bro. Mm -hmm.